All right, Jack, help us get a grip on Mark chapter 11. Well, Mark chapter 11 is all about forgiveness and prayer. Hmm. I chose verses 24 through 26 in the Amplified. Let's hear it. For this reason, I'm telling you, whatever things you ask in prayer, in accordance with God's will, believe with confident trust that you have received them, and they will be given to you. Mm. Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him. Drop the issue. Let it go. So that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions and wrongdoings against him and others. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your transgressions. Wow. This, 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 yeah. this, this, this is a very it. important passage. Yes, it is. What is, it is saying to us that if we harbor resentment or have bitterness in our heart, your prayers will not be heard. Mm. The Lord will not listen to you. Mm. And only if you confess them and get rid of anything that's, that's closing the ceiling to heaven, it just won't work. So he's saying here, get rid of your bitterness, get rid of your anger, get rid of your fears, get rid of everything that, that keeps you from having me listen to you and hear you and advise you. You know, uh, the R is forgiveness is the key in your prayer life. If you harbor resentment, anger, or judgment, your prayers will not be heard. Confession and forgiveness are the key elements of your prayer life. Wow. That's hard. It's hard to be uh, confessing and asking for forgiveness. Pretty clear. Well, you're always, you're always competing with the world. Right. And your natural self. Yeah. Um, learning to live a, con a confessed up life mm -hmm. takes practice mm -hmm. and priority. Mm -hmm. You got to want to more than anything else. Well, the benefits are so fruitful. So lead us to our eye, Jack. How do we implement this challenging verse in verses? We should have a forgiving spirit when we come to the Lord in prayer. Hmm. We must forgive if we are to be forgiven. Yeah. This refers to God's paternal dealings with his children. An unforgiving spirit in the believer breaks fellowship with the Father in heaven. He just isn't going to listen if you, if you just are so selfish and so egotistical and so concerned with yourself that you won't ask to be forgiven of your own failings before you come to the Lord. Because mm. when you do that, it opens the doors of heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know, Jack, I, I didn't plan on going here, but, you know, you know my story of keeping things from Leslie and, and not asking for forgiveness. And that day when I got over myself and said, Leslie, I need to ask for your forgiveness for what I did with our finances. When she said, Scott, I forgive you, there's so much power that all the guilt and the shame that I've been harboring for a very long time just melted away. Well, that is, you know, when we are really living in touch with the Lord and praying in the Spirit, we can have the assurance of answered prayer before the answer actually comes. Hmm. You see, the Lord knows your heart. Yeah. And when you open your heart to the Lord, you don't even have to speak a word. Hmm. He's already forgiven you. Hmm. Wow. Pray us out. How do we uh, close this out? 
Father, place within my heart a forgiving spirit that I may live a life pleasing in your sight. Mm. Amen. Amen and amen. Whew. Forgiveness and prayer, Jack. So good. All right, we're going to slide.